I try to wind things down over these next couple of weeks to get ready for baby, I am taking a break for the first time ever from hosting our webisodes. And Sid is going to take over and lead you through our pool and pool house tour. Should we give it a go and see how bad it goes? Are you sure you got I just want to make sure I have fresh breath on the camera. Just trying to stay loose, you know? Like, because the drink tables are actually these little side tables. We're going to start and... What's wrong? It's made, no, it's just... Now you guys get a glimpse into the chemistry at our house. It's like you're over-directing a little bit. Like, maybe just like let the talent... <laughs> hey guys, welcome to the backyard. I'm taking over for Shay. She's super pregnant. So I'm going to show you around the pool house and the pool. Let's go. So in deciding where to put our pool, we decided that this was the perfect location. So in order to make that happen, we extended the diamond pavers out to meet the pool and we replaced the grass that was in between. It was just getting really hot and cooked during the summertime. So we put in this AstroTurf. It's kind of like a really nice fake grass and it's been amazing and we're really happy that we did that. A few quick facts. Our pool is 20 feet by 40 feet, and the pavers that we went with were an Italian limestone paver that was cut to 18 by 36 inches. Shay also really wanted to go with these long coping pieces. Um, really wasn't a big deal, just took an extra nine months to make happen. <laughs> we worked with Craig at Nautica Pools for the design and construction of our pool. Shay provided him with some inspiration pictures of dark pools that she liked, and Craig directed us towards a polished quartz. The color that we landed on was hematite. It comes out to be this like dark blue. I feel like that color of your pool is really important. It can look foggy and not that inviting, and this hematite color looks really clean and fresh, and I always want to dive in. In selecting the waterline tile, Shay had a hard time settling on what we went with. There was a lot of mosaic options, but she wasn't really feeling it. So we ended up settling on this porcelain tile um, that matches the limestone paver. So with the hot tub, we wanted something that would be separate from the pool that we could open up and use during the winter time. So we went with an above ground hot tub and it's worked out great because it gives us a little diving board or a little area to jump off. The kids and myself enjoy it a lot. I was asking for a pool house to be on the deep end, maybe 10 to 15 feet tall so I could jump off and do tricks. That got shot down pretty quick. When deciding what pool furniture we wanted to go with, we felt like we already had enough wood or teak in other areas of our backyard. So we went with a metal lounger and that's repeated across the back. And we have these rat umbrellas that make you feel like you're at a fancy resort and these nice little side tables that are good for putting drinks down on. And Shay loves to be out here with the kids and play resort and send them to bring her Diet Cokes. In the pool house, you know, Shay really wanted to bring in some of the materials that we used on our house, like the siding and the copper piping elements that reminded you and made you feel like it was connected to the house. When selecting our doors, we went with something that we could open up as wide as possible so that the inside space really blended with the outside space and so that people, when they're hanging out in here, they still feel very connected to everyone that's in the pool. Shay really wanted like the structure to have some playfulness to it. So we added the cupola to the top and I, I love it. It always makes me feel like we're in the Hamptons. So when selecting our flooring, we went with this LVP from Lemco and it holds up really well to wet kids running in and out of it. We just wanted a, a place that was pretty durable um, yet pretty.
I really love the kitchenette. I think it came out really cool. The color on the cabinets is relaxed khaki. And then we went with the soapstone countertop. It's this cool black material. We have an inset refrigerator that is always stocked with tons of Tapa Chico, of course, definitely some Diet Coke. I went with like a custom built sink right by where the windows open up to the outdoor bar area. And so that makes it really good for kids to run up and hang out and have snacks, but it's also right by the garden. So we can use that sink. It can double as kind of like a potting area. So Shay and picking out the lights for the pool house loves to like mix up materials. Above the kitchenette area, we have these cool brass sconces and she went with this basket pendant light. They're really cool and they fit and they're perfect. This ottoman right here is a piece from our Target collection and we added some Scotch Guard to it to provide a little extra resilience against kids and stains. We did a fireplace and we pulled in the brick which matches what we did on the front exterior of our home and we went with an arched opening. The fireplace creates a really strong and pretty focal point that you can see when you're hanging out in the pool. And we just thought it'd be really fun to have like a fireplace in the pool house during the winter when the kids are using the hot tub. They can run in the snow, kind of come into the pool house, get cozy real quick. We also went with these cool tall windows on either side to bring in as much natural light as possible. So in our outdoor powder bath, we went this like small hex tile on the floor and Shay came up with this really cool design. We put the towel hooks up in here so that we can easily access that from the pool or the hot tub. We did floor to ceiling tile on the walls just to make it robust and, and hold up against wet kids running in there. And it makes it also nice that people aren't running in and out of the house. We gotta talk about the round window. The round window is high enough that you can't see in, but you still get that natural light into the bathroom. And if you know Shay, anytime we can get some natural light in there, it's coming in. And then I just thought that, you know, it needed a little something more in here, so I put this artwork of the boats up. And that was pretty much it. One of my favorite features out here is the outdoor shower. Um, multiple trips that Shay and I have gone on, there's been outdoor shower at these places, maybe a, a rental home that we stayed at or something, and I always loved it. And so that was my primary request when we built the pool house was give me an outdoor shower. All right, well, thanks for coming by and checking out the pool and the pool house. It is super hot. I think I might jump in and take a little dip. But, you know, stay tuned for more fun stuff. I won't get your mic wet. <laughs> oh, I feel so good, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun.